Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thank you all for joining me at this time. My name is Shavi Zane, and I'm coming on to bring a message for the chosen. If you find that this resonates with you in any way, please be sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment below to let us know how this resonates with your situation. So first of all, I want to say that you all are being placed in a position to boss up. There is a certain position that has been granted to you because you are ready for it. Now, this is something that you're very good at. You're very skilled at. If you're not aware of how skilled you are, you will become aware. The more that you put in the practice and the effort is going to uh, definitely show in the work that you put in, the effort that you put in. You're going to be able to see just how, um, how good you are at whatever this gift is. Now, I am picking up that for some of you, there is a position that you already hold. Maybe you have invested a lot of time and energy into creating whatever this thing is. You put in a lot of sweat and tears into creating this foundation and you've gained your stripes. You've earned your stripes in whatever this is. Like you have reached your peak when it comes to showing and proving that you're good at whatever it is that you do. But I do see a level of concern coming from someone here, whether it's you or someone else, there's a level of concern because there is this energy of a community of people that are codependent on this position that you have right now. They're codependent on whatever this is that you've created. So for instance, if you started a business, you hired people to work for you, um, there's a lot of people that are dependent on you maintaining or keeping that business open in order for them to, you know, maintain their security. But the issue that I'm seeing here is that money is very, very slow when it comes to this business now, because I feel that your spiritual team is pushing you and guiding you into a different direction. There's another calling, something that you're going to be very passionate about. That's going to bring a lot of excitement and it's going to really activate and awaken your creativity. You're being called to move into that direction, but there's this energy of being concerned about those people not being able to maintain themselves without you. There's a strong level of codependency that I'm picking up here. And so I see a lot of stress, a lot of overthinking, you know, sleepless nights, thinking about how this is going to impact others, but not only stressed about how it's going to impact this community of people, but also stressed about the fact that you really want to move towards this new adventurous idea. You really want to awaken the spark within you because you're being pulled. You're being called to something about it that has a magnetic call. It's a pull because it's a part of your destiny. And so I'm picking up this energy of maybe even naysayers, you know, people who are around who have different agendas. They have different reasons for why they want you to maintain this this business or this uh, position because they benefit in different ways. But you're being called to look at these, this group of people through your spiritual eyes and not your natural eyes, because I'm also picking up that there could be people who are naysayers, who are trying to convince you that taking a different path is not the way to go. Now, I'm picking up this bossing up energy. I'm also picking up new partnerships. It feels like an energy of partnering, partnering up with someone bringing in this vision together with someone else. It's almost like a power couple. For some of you, this is a romantic relationship where the two of you have a divine assignment to move forward, to work together and to build a great solid empire that's full of excitement, creativity, fertility, growth. Okay. For others of you, it may not be romantic, but it's like a business partnership. Someone admires the work that you do. They admire the fact that you have burn the midnight oil, staying up, perfecting your craft and someone, they might even want you to teach them here. It could be something like that where some, there's one person who has established themselves in their own right. They have their business. They became that official person. They earned their stripes in whatever business that they had already created. But now things have come to a halt or the money is moving very slow because that's no longer their calling but they were very good at whatever that is and people relied on them. But now 
the most high and, and the spiritual team is starting to slow down the finances on that end to get them to redirect their attention towards something that you might be doing, which is um, very creative. And this person is very intrigued by it. I feel like it's more of a spiritual thing. It feels like this person that's watching you, their position was more um, 3D related. In other words, it could be something where, um, you know, it could be something that had nothing to do with spirituality. Let's just put it that way. But it feels like whatever it is that you do out there, it does deal with spirituality. Now, that's not the case for everyone, but it is the case for many. But regardless of what it is, this is a new career path that this person is being called to embark upon. You're already doing very well. It, take it how it resonates, depending on which end of the, you know, which side you stand on. But someone here is already doing very, very well at whatever this is. And their creativity is at an all time high. And there's room for a whole lot of growth and expansion in whatever it is that you're out there doing. You know, it's this next level bossing up type of energy here. Lots of abundance that's flowing in as a result of you being in alignment with your purpose and believing in the and what some others might say is the impossible. There's a lot of naysayers on this person's end that's saying, oh, that side, there's no real growth there. But this person is watching you and they're seeing that that's not the case at all. These people are naysayers because they don't want this person to move towards you in this new vision because they understand that they can no longer be codependent on this person if they take this new path. And so this person has to be very selective about who they're discussing their passions and their desires with because these people have an agenda. Many of them, they have different agendas for different reasons. Some of them is because they're afraid of not having enough. Others, others is because they're afraid of this person moving towards a divine union that's going to be very abundant. Others have agendas because they just don't want to see this person evolve or it's just so many different reasons, but none of them are good reasons as to why they want to keep this person stuck in this past position of leadership or maintaining this business that they're no longer passionate about. And so this person has to go through, um, they have to do some work, destroying and releasing all fears of new beginnings, fear of moving towards their passions, fear of leaving codependent people behind. Um, fear of judgment by others, you know, there's some burning and releasing that needs to be done here because this is all about divine unions, but also about purpose. Okay. This is about purpose. This is about destiny. And so there's some shadow work that this person is going to have to do in order to take the leap of faith, but whatever they're doing right now is lifeless, is dull, is suppressing their creativity. And it's just no longer, it's no longer serving them. And it's really not even serving this community of people anymore. And I think this person's biggest uh, issue, their, their biggest concern here is that they have earned the respect of a lot of people because of what they do. But they're realizing that these groups of people or this community of people could also be very toxic. I think they're starting to look at these people through their spiritual eyes and no longer seeing it through their natural eyes. They're starting to see, they, they're starting to understand why things have come to a halt, why things have slowed down because it's becoming too heavy. It's becoming too burdensome and it's just not, it's no longer in alignment with where they're being guided to go. And so I definitely feel that this person is going to have to really dive deeper, do some healing work before they can go through this transformation and move towards this new beginning. But this is going to bring a lot of happiness. It's going to bring a lot of abundance. There's so much room for growth again and expansion. And this is where this person's inheritance lies. Uh, but there's this grieving energy, you know, being stuck in, in their head, or maybe you're stuck in your head feeling like, you know, I can't really leave these people in this position. But this person also has to understand that these people are being called to outgrow and to expand as well. And if they, if this boss or this leader continues to allow this community of people to be codependent on their energy and forfeits their own purpose, then not only does this leader not grow 
and move towards their destiny, but also this group, this community of people that's codependent on this person, they don't have the, the uh, position. They're not put in a position to grow and to move towards their own purpose because everybody is just stuck on one karmic cycle of being codependent on each other. This person is codependent on being needed. They're codependent on needing them, this person. And it's just one big cycle of mess. And so this is why that particular business is no longer thriving. So once this person realizes this and gives themselves, give themselves permission to listen to the call, to adhere to the call, then they are going to find that things begin to move forward in a very swift, it's like, it's almost like the moment that they walk out the door, suddenly the sun begins to shine. Suddenly life begins, they, they come alive again. Suddenly their passion, that creativity, that excitement for life awakens again because the position that they're in right now, there's no happiness. There's no light there. It's just dull. It's dull. It's slow. Um, and there's no fulfillment there anymore. And so they're getting all of the signs that that is no longer the way, but they also recognize that there's sacrifices that's going to have to be made. And the best thing for this person to do is really consult with the most high, depending on if it's you consult, talk to the most high, ask your spiritual team for clarity and guidance. And ask them to make it very clear to you so that you're no longer at a crossroads as to whether or not you should maintain this thing that you've already put your time, energy, and finances and blood, sweat, and tears into, or should you move towards this new creative thing that you are passionate about? Ask the most high to give you that guidance and to also clear your path and to clear out anything within you that's preventing you from, you know, uh, hearing and seeing the truth. Because sometimes you get your answers. You could have gotten your answer a long time ago that it's time to move towards this new creative idea, this new passion, but you still refuse to hear it because you're so concerned about all of these people. What are they going to say? How are they going to view you? Maybe even some fears about this new beginning. Is it going to be successful? Because you're, you're already feeling like, okay, but I know how to do this, whatever this thing is, but I got this down pat. But that thing is no longer, there's no more growth there. So it's time to give these people permission to expand and to overcome their own codependencies. Give yourself permission to be happy and to move towards new passions, new, exciting, creative ideas that's in alignment with your destiny. Do the work to heal because I see beautiful, beautiful energy coming in as a result of you taking the leap of faith. I see recognition, reward, you being uh, applauded, you standing front and center stage and those people later on will look at you and they will admire the fact that you did take the leap of faith towards your destiny. And for those who actually have a genuine care about you or this person that created this empire and actually helped this community of people for so long, if they have genuine care for this person, then they will applaud them. But if they don't have a genuine care for this person, then they're going to try to keep this person stuck and they're going to try to drain and siphon and get as much out of this person as possible. But meanwhile, this person is for feeding their own happiness in order to stay chained and bound to a group of codependent people that really don't care about them anyway. It's time to look at it from a deeper perspective, dive deeper, go within, attune to the most high, and you're going to get the answers that you seek. So that's my message for you all. I love you. If you find that this resonates, like, and subscribe. If you want a personal reading, email me and I'll talk to you all next time.